we're at the Permaculture Research Institute, and I'm standing in a swale right now that I put in here, I helped put in a couple months ago uh, when I was living on the site. Uh, you can see that the swale is kind of got a round bottom, and it's got a soft mound on the other side. Now, when the swale was cut in, there was a whole bunch of topsoil on this side, and we don't want to get erosion, so we cover cropped it really quickly, which is what all this, this is all leguminous uh, pea crops. Um, this particular plant is called cow pea. And the reason we use a pea plant is because they grow really fast. And if you look on the, uh, on the root, what you're actually going to see is nitrogen nodules, which means that we're repairing the soil, we're putting nitrogen back into the soil, increasing the fertility. And because it's a swale, we're fixing the water cycle. Now this swale has spilled a few times since I've left the site, since we put it in. And you can see that we're still really moist here. When I walk around, I can feel the moisture. So this swale continues on the property for about 500 meters half a kilometer. And when it rains here, this whole swale will fill. And because this is a soft mound on the downside of the swale, it's going to infiltrate thousands and thousands and thousands of liters into the ground, recharging the aquifers and fixing the water cycle on the site. Now, I'm going to take you over to another place on the property, and we're going to look at some of the effects that these swales have, some of the positive effects. Um, Come with me. So here we are. We're, we're on a paddock that has a swale on the top of us, which is catching water off the road, and a swale below me. And you can see that there's a bunch of water standing here. It actually looks like it's standing, but it's slowly flowing through the landscape. This water right here is actually a spring emerging. You can see it flowing all the way through the landscape here, down into the next swale. And this is what happens when we recharge the land. Now, at first glance, it looks like there's petroleum on the surface of this water. You see this a lot in, in uh, dry creek beds, uh, or creek beds that are getting really, really low. Um, this isn't actually petroleum from the car. This is an interesting pattern recognition. In permaculture, we're always talking about looking at the landscape for patterns. Um, and when I see this, I instantly know what's happening here. This is proof that we are actually getting water infiltration from below water coming up from the groundwater. And, and the reason that the water is seeping through is because we're recharging it higher up. This oil is actually a byproduct of algae, which needs iron in order to survive. Now what's happening is that the water that's moving under the landscape goes anaerobic, this dissolved iron, which creates the right environment for this type of algae to live. And when the algae dies, it produces an oil flow. So this is an indication, a pattern recognition, that the swales are recharging the groundwater. And you'll see that with all of this new water, life is flourishing. 